Tomorrow marks the 50th anniversary of Evil Knievel's jump in Castle Rock. So he, he flies in on his personal plane at the Continental Divide Raceway just south of Castle Rock. There's this whole big excited crowd waiting for him. He performed some wheelies on his Harley Davidson XR750, jumped 11 vehicles, got back and well, left on his plane. Photographer Tom Cole found a fan who was there and got the moment Knievel made the big jump. A lot of folks probably don't even realize that this used to be a racetrack. Not far from Interstate 25 and just west of the railroad tracks. And it had a drag strip. Is an empty field with a small piece of Castle Rock's past. I really didn't know all of his history before I was invited to come with my uncle here. That hillside is, is really iconic because that's where the concrete grandstands were. Jim Bensberg was just 17 when he came here to see an American icon. I knew enough to know that he was the guy that you went to see for jumping motorcycles and you, you just couldn't pass on an opportunity like that. You can just barely make out the old racetrack where 15,000 people gathered to watch Evil Knievel attempt one of many jumps in his career. He was the main attraction that day. That day, when Evil Knievel prepared for his jump, that day can best be found in the archives of the Denver Library. I'd never seen anybody wheelie a Harley Davidson like that. Bensberg also documented that day and has some souvenirs. He came up here and I said, well, I've got some film in the camera here. Let's see if we can get a picture of Evil Knievel. Bensberg settled in with the fans. These are the original ones printed in August of 72. He clicked away, snapping photos of an American legend. He was clearly the star of the show. When the big moment came, the jump. I had one shot. Evil Knievel cleared seven Dodge trucks and four Dodge Colts. That is uh, what Henri Cartier-Bresson calls the decisive moment. It all happened here, where not much happens now. It was really a cool place that everybody took for granted. Not Jim Bensberg. Uh, Evil Knievel was in a universe of his own. And Jim has proof. I came away with a good result. In Douglas County, Tom Cole, 9 News. Jim's a talented photographer. Those pictures are incredible. What, a, what, an, in, what an interesting story. That's fantastic. August 19th of next year will mark the 50th anniversary of 13 vehicle jump he made in Aurora. There he arrived in a helicopter and performed at Century 21 Raceway. It's all part of the deal. Big entrance.